This is for the ones that are labeled. Don't let that change anything that you feel about yourself. Don't mind me. My name is Marcel Price, uh, but a lot of people know me as Fable or Fable the Poet. Because isn't it depressing how life works sometimes? Yes. Isn't it refreshing how life works sometimes? I'm sorry. This feeling of displacement set in, uh, and that I was not normal or, or not right. Just parents have a, a way of approaching things. Um, every parent wants, most parents want the best for their children. And when you're diagnosed with something that you've always felt was out of place or, or that wasn't right, it's like confirming that. And when parents start to push their children away by saying like, oh, hey, I know you're going through this. It's like, if you haven't been diagnosed with something, don't pretend to understand. Like if you're coming from that, that seat of privilege, don't don't pretend that you know exactly what it's like and don't pretend that you know what's best for this person. Just help them along the way. Just, just be there. Someone is willing to listen, genuinely listen, even if it's us, this once, hold your phone, but not the applause and look in awe at the people here brave enough to feel. Communication is key. And a lot of times when you're, when you're struggling with something within yourself, you just need somebody to talk to. And a lot of times it's very hard to talk to somebody that you don't feel comfortable talking to. Um, one thing that my mom, that my mother did that was amazing is when I went to see the first therapist I ever started seeing, she was like, Hey, just go for one session. See if you feel comfortable talking to this person. If you don't, we'll find somebody else. Uh, and I really appreciate her doing that. But a lot of times you just need a parent, a friend, somebody that you can confide in that you feel comfortable with. A lot of times letting a lot out to somebody who you don't know from anyone is, is uncomfortable. When you're talking to somebody about what you're going through and you just feel that they can't relate, it's, it's just very unsettling. So more than anything, communication, for sure. Fix that. Erase the memory of my grandest father figure trying to figure out why I can't bear to see him change with time. They need to start understanding that dealing with mental health is uncomfortable. Um, but talking about it is also uncomfortable. Um, and these things coincide. You need to start being patient with people. People need to start being able to approach people in, in a way that doesn't make them feel displaced or any different from anybody else. We need to start making it normal, making people understand that it's commonplace. We just need to start welcoming people and bringing them in. Uh, but, but most, we, we need to start vocalizing. Um, and it's time to talk before we reach stage four. Some scary reason I'm labeled a 25 percentile child in the world isn't bipolar, and I ask, why does the globe have two? And I have to think that my emotion percent is more relevant than my race, because face it, with the globe being 20 percent black, 10 percent Hispanic, 12 percent biracial, or 